Hi, and welcome to the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. I'm your host, Tegan Thompson. I'm a book lover, a chocoholic, and an INTJ living in a world filled with extroverts. I made this podcast to share my experiences and struggles as an introverted perfectionist and to bring the inner workings of an introvert's mind to introverts and extroverts alike. So grab a cup of tea and get comfortable. It's time to unmute. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. Um, The first snow of winter has officially happened and I'm super excited because I love snow and I love seeing the white blanket of fluffy snow laying on the ground in the morning so it makes me very happy to see that and I know not everyone feels the same way but I definitely feel that way. Um, this week we'll be talking about how you can better receive feedback and how you can use it to grow. Um, I think this is really important because I know that a lot of people find it difficult to receive feedback, um, and like wonder, oh, why is it even important to listen to feedback? Well, listening to feedback provides you with an outside perspective on kind of your behaviors and the way you act um, and perform that is not your very biased perspective, right? Um, And it can motivate you to do better and improve your uh, your performance. Um, that allow and it allows you to just kind of continually keep learning from peers and mentors. Um, feedback can tell you something you weren't aware of yourself. So, someone might give you feedback about something that you didn't even know you were doing or that you weren't doing, and kind of can again give an outside perspective that allows you to grow and learn about yourself um and i think it's very very important to remember that feedback also includes positive feedback it's not just negative feedback and a lot of people can get caught up in the idea of feedback being negative or hurtful um but there is positive feedback and positive feedback allows people to show their appreciation for you and give you recognition for what you have done um and it just allows people to show you that they value you and that you're an important aspect to their team um or just to them as a person in general um and then also feedback allows people to build relationships that have open and honest communication and when you have open and honest communication you're able to foster an environment of trust and support which is really beneficial to any type of environment whether that be a work environment a family environment um, a school environment whatever right um and i think it's super super important to remember that feedback should be used for improvement and most often feedback is given to improve or to develop an individual or a team Um, i know that sometimes people do use it in a malicious way and it um it is sometimes used, used to be hurtful but i think it's it just most important to remember that most often it isn't used that way um And that it's used and should be used for improvement, for growth. However, I know a lot of people view feedback as a negative um, and maybe even as an attack against their abilities. um, And they often can take it personally. Uh, But when you have this mindset surrounding feedback in general, it can cause conflict and hinder the growth that people are looking for when they are giving feedback um so i think that's why it's really important to learn how to effectively receive feedback and implement it so that you can develop um so 
some tips for effectively receiving feedback. The first one is to control your defensiveness. I know that kind of your initial reaction might be to get defensive, angry, kind of create excuses um, or reasons for why something did or did not happen, right? But when you are defensive, this leads to hesitation on the part of the person giving feedback um, because they might have fear of hurting you um, or whoever the individual may be receiving feedback um, or they worry about having to just deal with this defensive behavior um, knowing that that person is not receptive to feedback anyways. Um, and when a person is defense defensive about uh, receiving feedback, it decreases their approachability and um, kind of makes people not want to give feedback and can hurt you personally because you won't get the opportunity to grow. And so when you are defensive, you prevent both personal and team growth and so it's really important to kind of just keep an open mind about where feedback is coming from and that is not meant to hurt you or attack you or um, diminish your abilities but to just be like hey I have noticed maybe this area could use some improvement or even as I talked about earlier the positive feedback letting you know what you're doing well and like to remind you that you're doing well so that you can keep up the good work you've been doing and um, just be recognized for that. Um, the second thing is listening to understand, right? We want to listen to the feedback we receive, but we also want to understand what they're saying. Um, because understanding it is probably the most important part if you don't understand what they're saying um, or understand what they're asking of you then you can't really implement the, um, the feedback they're giving you and implementing it is probably the second most important part because if you don't implement change in your behavior or your, your um, actions then there can't be any growth so when you listen to feedback, you want to listen to understand, and then you want to implement um, what they're saying. The third thing is to summarize and reflect on what you heard. When you do this, it demonstrates, one, that you are listening to the person giving you feedback, um, and it shows that you appreciate the person um, for giving you feedback and um, that you find their feedback valuable um, and second it allows you to clarify the feedback you're um, receiving um, which prevents any misunderstandings from happen happening so when you kind of restate what you heard and you kind of process what you've heard then you can make sure that what you heard was what they wanted to um, kind of communicate with you because sometimes it's uh, there can be miscommunications when people um, don't know exactly how they want to say something or they don't know how to say something um, and so uh, it doesn't come across the way they want it to and someone doesn't get clarification on it and then there's a misunderstanding right so just making sure that you Kind of summarize it and you reflect on it so that you're getting the most out of the feed um, the feedback you're receiving the fourth thing is to ask um, one ask questions to clarify if you don't understand if what you're hearing isn't making sense um, or you feel like you're not fully um, understanding what they're asking of you ask questions ask questions to clarify uh, maybe you need to understand where they've seen a certain behavior or whatever ask questions so that you can clarify and you don't have those misunderstandings also ask for examples to clarify where when and how you can implement the feedback they are giving you 
so that you know when it's appropriate to implement it and kind of if there's a specific area they want you to implement it in. The fifth thing is keeping things in perspective, right? When people give you feedback, they're always sharing their feedback from their own perspective, their own perception of your behavior. And so it's going to be slightly biased based on their own experiences um, with you personally and kind of just in general through their life. Um, So you can always check with other people if they've um, also witnessed this um, behavior that you're receiving feedback on or um, if they feel the same way. Um, to kind of validate the feedback you received before or maybe get clarification on that that feedback specifically was related to that one person only and that um, maybe you just need to be more careful with how you um, talk to that one person or you do things around that one person. Um... And then the sixth thing is to show appreciation for the feedback. Um, One, it can be hard to give feedback because you don't know how people are going to receive it. Um, And two, you want to make sure that they know that the feedback they gave you was valuable and meaningful to you and that you want to continue to receive feedback because you do want to. Um, right? You want to be able to know where you can grow and where you can develop so that you can improve. Um, so just showing that appreciation for what they have, um, shared with you is really, really important to kind of build and foster that relationship you guys are developing. So yeah, that's what I have for today about receiving feedback. Um, Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. If you enjoyed this episode or if you learned anything new, please go share it with a friend. And as always, have a good weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week on the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast.